My name is Anthony Henderson for the Channel of Truth here on YouTube. As we look around the world today, many of us are in shock and despair about the world's direction. We ask, where will it end? Starting in Africa, with genocide plaguing the continent, world hunger affecting more than half the world's population, disease spreading like wildfire, millions of lives affected, the world's financial stability hanging by a thread. We look for someone to stand and bring the change we need. Personally, I ask myself this question. Are we, you and I, in need of a savior? Someone who can rescue us and give us back the joy and stability we all crave for? Someone who has the power to heal this land and its people? No, I'm not speaking of Barack Obama, a man millions of people have put their hope and trust into, some who call him the one or a messiah. But if we're honest and frank, he's only a man. No, I'm speaking of larger proportions, proportions of historic consequences that has the capacity to change and transform millions of lives. Yes, friends, I am speaking of Jesus Christ. People with no particular spiritual background to people with deep religious roots ask themselves the question, is there a God who sees the state of this planet, who sees that without his help we cannot change the things that we ourselves have caused. Now I know this is a large step of humility, recognizing that we need his help and his guidance, and that the promises of scripture will come true in our lives if we change the focus of ourselves heavenward. In the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 11 it declares, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruits of all your crops, and your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Not only do we want the question whether he sees what is happening answered, but can he do something about it? The answer is yes. Now I know some of you will immediately brush off anything I say regarding him. But the truth is, the proof is in the pudding. What has self-reliance, self-indulgence, or finding the good within oneself ever brought you that will last? Now I know I can't scientifically prove that he ever existed. But it is undeniable that a carpenter over 2,000 years ago lived and impacted his culture so much that thousands of years later, over a billion people profess to know him and put their trust and lives into his hands. He was either a liar, a crazy man, or he knew exactly who he was. People from remote tribes of the South Pacific to the desert of the African Plain, from inner city New York to the southern tip of Latin America, people all over the world profess to have experienced the power of the gospel message. This may be a defining moment in your life, the call of Christ stands firm. Jesus' words in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9. If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for me will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit his very soul? God has invited every man, woman, and child to be part of his family. And even in tough times as these, God will hold on to you and never let go of you if you put your trust and your life into his hands. Please do consider these words with great care. My prayer would be that you will make Jesus the savior of this world, rock your world, and be part of what would be a transformational and historic occasion in your life. I guarantee you will never be the same again. He has come to die for you to save you from yourself, to save you from the judgment this world will be under. He has also come to give you a living hope. Not a warm and fuzzy feeling, but a state of mind where you can build your life on. This is not about religion, and it's certainly not about the church. This is about a living relationship 
with the living God, Jesus Christ. The choice is up to you.